we recently built our son a brand new computer and in doing that we also got him a nice new desk and a monitor to complete his battle station setup but before we could set everything up we had to clean out his room pretty thoroughly and in doing that we uncovered some old things that we haven't seen in years one of them was one of these read to me books the idea behind this was you would get a family member or even the little one themselves to read the story while it was being recorded. Then, whenever you turn to that page, these little light sensors would allow that particular page's recording to play and the story would be read. This one, we opened it up to find out that it really wasn't working and I did a little bit of searching online to see uh, if there were any troubleshooting tips as far as getting this working again because we weren't sure if the recording was still on it um, and it got me thinking that there's probably a lot of folks out there that could possibly uncover one of these and they may have a recording of a family member who uh, maybe is no longer with us or even a little one who's now all grown up and it's something for nostalgia's sake and it would be really cool to hear that person's voice uh, at that time again. When I took the old batteries out, they were pretty corroded. So when I looked in the battery compartment, I noticed that the contacts were pretty corroded as well. So to clean those, I used a little tool that I had in my toolkit, although you can use a flathead screwdriver or a knife, something that you can use to scrape and work away the corrosion that's on each of the contacts, including the springs. And I just did this until all of the corrosion on the contacts were gone and I could see, the, see them shine again. Once I did that, I put the batteries back in and tried again, although that still wasn't enough. Although it didn't work for me, another thing that you can try before you resort to the temporary solution I'm about to show is a Q-tip and either a solution of baking soda and water or baking soda and white vinegar. You can use the Q-tip in this solution to clean off the terminals. There are a ton of videos, really good videos, online on cleaning old toys, so if you would like to try that first, you can do a quick search on cleaning old toys and you'll come up with uh, quite a few good videos on how to do that. But for me, I had to ultimately resort to my temporary solution and that is aluminum foil. So with the aluminum foil, I just took the, a little small piece like this and ripped off a small piece and folded it a few times with the shiny side out. And after folding it, I can make some little pieces that were going to fit inside of the battery compartment. So the first place to try is this center piece right here. I can take my material and fold it over top of that piece like that. And then you'll see that the shiny side is on both sides and that is what's going to come in contact with the battery. Now I've already done this and I know that doing this alone didn't work. It turns out that I had to add yet another piece. So I made myself a slightly longer piece like this and placed it in the little opening right here and ran it across like this. Once you've got the aluminum foil in there, you just want to make sure that it's covering the part with the spring and covering the contact on this side. Then you can place your batteries back in. And yours may start playing immediately. 
I still had a little bit of inconsistency when it came to lighting. So for me to check it, I had to get my flashlight again and shine it on there. It was Halloween night. Scooby-Doo and his friends were invited to a costume party. Before they left for the party, a strange old man came to their house with a scroll. On the scroll was a set of clues to solve. The gang followed the clues for to the crazy mansion. Jeepers exclaimed, Daphne, this is the perfect place to find a mystery. And I got it working again. So hopefully you found that helpful or if you find an old book of your own from a loved one and you would really like to get the voice to work again so that you could record it onto something else, uh, this little hack might help you get it working when you would have otherwise thrown it away and forgotten all about those memories.